Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Peter Whitehouse, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Art and Science Share the Stage with an interactive presentation and performance from Liz Lerman about her production, Ferocious Beauty Genome. In just a minute, my colleague Sue Miller will introduce Liz to you. But it's my honor to mention a few of the sponsors that brought the program to you here as part of the Translating LC conference. The other member of the planning committee is Marty Cohen. Where is Marty? Back there. There he is at the door. Marty uh, was particularly responsible for bringing us uh, sponsorship from the Mount Sinai Healthcare Foundation, foundation formed uh, around the huge historical and important roots of Mount Sinai Hospital in our community. And we thank them for their uh, contribution. A second sponsor is the College Scholars Program, which is the undergraduate honors program that focuses on leadership and service at Case Western Reserve University. That program has a, a speakers program, and we are proud to consider and have Liz as one of our speakers. There are students and faculty here. Uh, it's a very self-directed program, and I sometimes say that I'm the faculty co-director along with 25 undergraduate fellow co-directors. The uh, third uh, sponsor of this program is a project here in Cleveland that some of you may have uh, heard about earlier in the conference. The poster uh, uh, in the back there on the left is a story bank. The Cleveland Regional Story Bank is a uh, transdisciplinary project which encompasses the humanities, the social sciences, and a variety of other blend disciplines who are modeling their activities after biobanks. And there is a lot at this meeting about biobanks. Um, I myself was a biobanker at Hopkins. Uh, I collected brains. And now, with our colleagues, we are collecting stories, imagining that an understanding of tissues and the genetic and units of those tissues are important for people's health, but perhaps another aspect of health has to do with narrative and uh, the notion of uh, stories uh, affecting people's health is at the core of that particular endeavor. And we've been focusing particularly on stories that relate to Alzheimer's disease, um, or what I used to call Alzheimer's disease. Um, the stories on the poster board reflect the, the work in Reveal, which is the uh, project that was featured yesterday uh, on genetic counseling in Alzheimer's disease, and the stories people tell about being at risk for severe brain aging. The second set of stories relate to the fourth sponsor, and that's the last sponsor, um, well, actually, it's not. I should uh, recognize the fellows in the back from uh, Case Media Vision because um, they are um, sponsors of the meeting, too. Wendy Shapiro, who's actually a member of the StoryBank team, was kind enough to help us arrange that, so let me thank them. But the intergenerational school is a place where people with severe brain aging, as well as people with mild brain aging, like me, and moderate brain aging, go to school as part of a public charter school. So this literally is a nationally recognized uh, charter school here in Cleveland where 150 urban city kids go to school and uh, they do some of their activities with uh, the college scholars uh, that I mentioned earlier, with um, elders from the community, and some with uh, significant memory uh, challenges and uh, we're uh, currently involved in assessing the impact of such storytelling on the cognitive vitality and quality of life of the elders. And I think many of these themes resonate with um, our guest, Liz Lerman, uh, the last one perhaps particularly uh, because uh, Liz, uh, da Liz's dance company is explicitly intergenerational.